Let's roll, please. Camera's up, rolling. Hey, Mark. Action. Cage Fighter, in a nutshell, is about a guy called Reese, who is a five-time champion from the promotion Legends, which is a fictional promotion that I created. And he has cleaned out the division, kind of on the same you know, level of an Anderson Silva or a George St. Pierre. He's a superstar within the world of MMA. His promoter, Max Black, played by Gina Gershon, decides you know, for his sixth title defense, they would like to do a little something special for the fans. So she says, I want you to fight this guy coming in from pro wrestling and it's a guy called Randy Stone, who is played by an actual legitimate wrestling star, John Moxley. Initially, he's reluctant, but then with the smooth-talking agent of his, Reggie, played by Elijah Baker, he's won over and he realizes the potential to kind of, that taking a fight like this can really lead to bigger things. Once I figured out what the story needed to be, things just started falling into place. And then I met the producers, Shane Putzlocker and Sarah Shack, and then it became a very fast process. So it was like four years of buildup, and then once, they came on, it was like, let's go, let's go make this thing. I got involved initially as the fight choreographer. I've been fighting in judo since like the age of four. And they uh, asked me to audition, and I got the part, man. And um, here we are today. When I go through Reese's character, even you know the trials and tribulations, he's going through all the ups and downs, it kind of, imitates my life. Right? I was saying to Jesse, the director, you know, that it's like he's had a fly on the wall watching my life now put into film, but I, I feel like everyone can relate to it. He should be a comedian, I'm not gonna lie. He, does, he is making he me is a comedian. Look, he's, look, 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 he's got a massive fan base in the wrestling world, yeah? They're gonna come over, they're gonna give us those pay-per-view numbers, man. Okay? Boss Lady asked for this, yeah? This is what Max wants. I'm playing Reggie. He's the manager of Reese, who's extrovert and speaks constantly. <laughs> Uh, it's a broker deals and, you know, very quick-witted. For me, Cage Fighter is a story about a champion who must learn to maintain the champion status. You know, a lot of the time, people focus on becoming the champion, but there's no rule book on how to maintain and how to remain a champion, not just in terms of the belts that you have, but also in terms of how you carry yourself and how you conduct yourself. My character is Stephen Drake, and he is a MMA reporter and uh, he takes what he does very seriously. So when a wrestler's moving into the MMA world, um, he's kind of, I think, a little bit on the fence about it, and uh, you know, he's looking for some answers and things like that. Yeah, I do connect with this character in a sense that I've been on the other side of these, uh, these types of interviews, where people are kind of um, digging for some information and things like that, so I think I can apply my experience from that into this role, and it'd be nice to actually be on the other side of it for once. How I got involved with Cage Fighter, what happened was Shane Putzlocker had um, the script and they were looking for some input on the wrestling part of it. And it just happened that Sarah and Shane were in Tampa at a film festival and I was flying back into town where I live. And we met briefly for 15 minutes at the airport. We talked about the script and I told him my, my thoughts on it and he called me right after that pretty much and said, hey, we'd love you to come on as an, as an executive producer and help us with this. So that's also how I squeaked my way onto the, to the film. It wasn't because of my acting ability. It was because, you know, I got in as an executive producer and I put myself in the movie. I did, but. I got a call from Jay Riso, better known as Christian, to wrestling fans, who was working as a producer on this movie Cage Fighter where they were gonna merge the worlds of mixed martial arts and professional wrestling and uh, being a huge MMA fan, a chance to work in a movie in the genre of mixed martial arts was pretty interesting to me and uh, it just seemed like I was the right guy at the right place at the right time. When Chuck Liddell joined the cast, that was a very exciting surprise because I'm like such a big Chuck Liddell fan his entire career that it just uh, the little kid in me, the fan, was just like, oh, this is going to be sweet. My fans, My fans, All right, line up, everyone. I'm playing Reese's coach in this movie. I kind of patterned in after my coach because they kind of have a similar relationship. The first thing that drew me to this movie is I, I like the script, and I, you know, I got to play a part. You know, it's a bigger part, and and I actually this movie. I think I'm here 20 days. I do draw from my experience being a fighter, you know, and training and the discipline and 
a lot of that experience doing that and it makes it easy. It's a very complex sport. There's a lot of things going on. If you see a fighter, there's a lot of this family, there's business. It's not always just what you see in the ring. A lot of that drama, I think it's entertaining. I am Luke Rockhold, former Strike Force and UFC middleweight champion. I've been fighting pretty much my whole life, 13 years professionally. And uh, you know, making a movie about fighting, it's, uh, it's not too far out of character. Tony Gunn, I feel like he's a former fighter. He didn't quite make it. He's got a lot to prove, and he thinks he can like, kind of take these these prospects and teach them the hands and, and kind of make some champions. You know, he wants to fulfill what he couldn't do. So he's got a big ego. Uh, he's trying to prove a lot, and uh, he's a bit of a dick. So uh, I got a proposition for you boys. Go on. All right, so now you defended the title five times now. Reese has basically cleaned out the division. I think the fans deserve something really special for the sixth title defense. Well, what My character, like? Max Black, she, um, she kind of comes from this world. Her father started Legends. And I just think it's, you know, after her father died, everyone said, oh, she's gonna run it to the ground. So she just, someone who has something to prove. I've never really been around fighters like this, and there's such a difference between the pro wrestling fighters and the MMA fighters, but they're still a huge personality type, and you know, they have a lot more discipline than I do around crafty and stuff like that. It's interesting in this world of all these tough macho guys, you know, you have a lot of females who are running the show. I just thought that was really interesting. It is super ultra macho testosterone -y sort of world, you've got the woman who like they're all kind of kissing her ass because she's basically the brains behind it. She's the one who's getting the money, who's in kind of in charge of their career to a certain degree. Well, and I just love it, you know, even in real life that there's very strong women who are in this position. So I think it's pretty cool. All right, all right guys, let's uh, keep this going. Ellie has been amazing. I feel that she's the rock of the movie and the rock of Reese and is fighting and she's always there to support him. So Ellie's actually inspired me as a person to be more powerful. I'd always wanted to make a film that kind of blended martial arts and film, which is my two loves. And I always loved movies like Rocky and Creed and Warrior. And I just thought it's been a while since there's been a film like this, especially in the UK. And I wanted to do something special that had a great storyline, but also great martial arts and really kind of capture the art in martial arts. If you mix Alex's knowledge of mixed martial arts with kind of my forte, which is telling stories in the ring and piecing together, you know, dramatic physical storytelling, it made for a pretty, uh, pretty potent combination of uh, putting these fights together. The ups and the downs and the drama and the story of the Reese character who's the hero. Uh, I, I was pretty proud of what we came up with. You know, in a lot of these movies, you know, these guys, you know, they put on the makeup and they get all, look all beat up and so forth in the fake blood, but they got the stunt guy in there doing all the hard work. We don't do stunt guys around here, not in Saskatchewan. Me and uh, Alex were our own stunt guys and they're doing all the work. There's no extras, no doubles, nothing like that. When I suplexed him on his head, I just had to suplex him on his head. I actually clipped him in the mouth with a good left hook yesterday that uh, hopefully he doesn't want to give me a receipt for. When we're on set, there has to be an element of uh, fluidity and almost improvisation so that the actors can bring their own creativity because, you know, with people like Alex Montagnani and also um, John Moxley, these guys are artists with their bodies, you know, and they have a lot of creativity in the way they move and the way they express themselves through martial arts. So I didn't want to restrict them on that and I wanted them to be very much a collaborative process of us crafting the fights together. Uh, as you can see by my face, there's a few bruises from yesterday. Um, We've been working on bringing that explosive style very close to actual fighting. Firing up those kicks, buddy. Yeah, they're really starting to open up the cut above Reese's eye. Knocked him down. Anderson's right back up. Reese is relentless. He stops Anderson. And I've really mixed up the striking with the takedowns, the grappling side of it, to entice the actual MMA fans. So they can watch it and say, you know what? These guys, they're legit. The cool thing how they cast this is they cast not just actors, they cast fighters. 
which I think really makes a big difference. And I just love it that these guys really have thought. I don't think I would have been interested in doing this if it was like actors acting like fighters. I mean, you can't fake really good fighting. You've got to train, 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 or you already have to know the world. So there's a level of authenticity. The rewarding part about this is kind of watching some of the footage back and uh, knowing how much physicality and uh, how much energy we were really putting into it to sell this as a, as a real fight. Watching some of the footage back and the good takes and the good camera angles when you get that that one shot that's like and the head goes flying and the spit goes flying and it looks really realistic. That's the uh, that's such a satisfying feeling when you get that one perfect take of that perfect punch. You know these fights really look legit and that that's you know because I have a lot of martial arts friends that I would poke holes if they don't. So I want to make sure that they look awesome. You need to see this movie because. It's gonna knock your socks off. It's got a good storyline, it's interesting, and it also gives you an insight into the complexity of being a fighter. Reese isn't really fighting Randy Stone. He's gotta overcome his own uh, internal struggles and insecurities and so forth to make sure he goes out to the cage and is his best self. So whatever you're facing in your life, you can put yourself in Reese's shoes and it'll inspire you. I mean, Alex is such a lovely presence. I think people will really root for his character. It's a pretty awesome story, and uh, I'm happy to be a part of it. I'm, I'm in it, Chuck's in it. All the pieces of the puzzle are really meshing well, and uh, it's, gonna be a, it's gonna be a fun. I think this film is pretty true to form. Like if a wrestling fan was watching this movie, which hopefully they will and they'll enjoy it, they'll get it because they understand from being a fan that that is very real. For me, I'm a martial artist myself, so I'm very critical on myself to deliver fights that look completely authentic. and. You know, I wanted to match the level of films like Warrior and Creed and Rocky and if possible, maybe even exceed it. Before going into this, I just thought about guys in a cage and like really just gritty and like blood. But you really see that there's so much heart behind fighting. And I think that that's what this movie is really going to bring out to people. If you're a fan of cage fighting, if you're a fan of combat sports, if you're a fan of sport movies in general, this movie is going to tick every box for you. And it's going to have you go on the edge of your seats. It's going to have you wanting more. You're going to want a sequel, prequel, you're going to want the whole box set, you're going to want the poster, you know, trust me, just go and see it, you're not going to be disappointed. Hey guys, Lisa here. Did you know that Chen Zen, a character originated by Bruce Lee in 1972's Fist of Fury, has become a recurring character in kung fu movies, and the role is entrusted to the very best performers. Across five decades, Chen Zen has been played not only by Lee, but also by screen legends Jet Li and Donnie Yen. Who's your favourite martial arts actor? Let us know below.